Conditional statements are used to determine if a block of code should be executed. As noted, there are different types of conditional statements. The one that we have here is an if-else statement. Here, with the if-else statement, the statement checks if the expression is true. If the statement is true, the code in the if statement here will execute. If this is not true, our else statement will be executed. So here, our integer called oil change is set to three. Here we're saying if our oil change is greater or equal to two, an info log will display saying frequent customer. If our oil change value is not greater than two, the else statement will execute and an info log should display saying first time customer. So here, because our integer is set to three, I expect our info log to display frequent customer. We'll go ahead and run this by clicking Control F5. This will execute the code without debugging. An Internet Explorer browser will display, and as you can see, my info log is displaying as frequent customer. Now let's take a look at my switch statement. So we'll switch over to my other class that I have here. This is called my case class. So here we have a switch statement with several different cases. So here again, we have our integer oil change. Our value is set to three. We have our switch statement. We have oil change and we have three different cases. So in case one, if the value or our integer is one, our answer will be first time customer and the code will break. We have another case. If our integer is two, the answer will be second time customer and the code will break. Next, we have our third case. If the value is three, we will get an answer frequent customer. So in this case, I expect our info log to display with frequent customer. Now, if none of these cases are met, our default will display as loyal customer and the code will break and the info log will display. Here you can see we're specifying, we have our info log displaying in a string format and we're showing the answer. So again, I need to go ahead and run this, but first I need to set my startup object to my case class. It's currently set as my class. So I'll right click on my case class and I'll set a startup object and I can go ahead and click control F5 to run the code without debugging. Again, I'm expecting my answer to be frequent customer. As you can see, frequent customer displays.